morning, St. Louis University. I'm meteorologist Zach Wilson with your weekend outlook. And we finally had that clipper system kick on out of here last night, left behind about a trace to up to about an inch of snowfall in and around the St. Louis area. And I think that we might be dealing with a little bit more of the way of light snow as we head into tonight and early, early tomorrow morning. And something you want to keep an eye on as we work forward. I think there's a potential at least for a little bit of a light accumulating snowfall, especially for St. Louis and points north and northeast of the city. Here's what the weekend story looks like. We're looking at another shot of cold air coming in Friday night and Saturday. A lot of sunshine around on Saturday, but it will be cold after that reinforcing shot. And then Valentine's Day, we're watching for the potential at some more accumulating snowfall. This is what will do it for your afternoon high on Friday, 33 degrees, an overnight low of 6, and an afternoon high on Saturday of just 19 degrees. So again, that's that reinforcing shot of cold air. You're definitely going to want to keep that in mind as you have any weekend plans. 16 will do it for your overnight low on Saturday. And then here comes that shot at some snow late in the afternoon, evening hours on Sunday, 30 for your afternoon high. Still some uncertainties with that system, but you're definitely going to want to keep updates on that as we head forward. This is your Did You Know? And between the 12th and 13th of February 1914, St. Louis received 13 inches of snowfall. That made it the fifth greatest snowfall ever in a 24-hour period here in the city. The largest one you might be thinking, oh, what, what, you know, what would that have been? Though it's unofficial because there was some missing daily data, it would have been 20.4 inches. That was back on March 30th and 31st of 1890. That's 126 years ago. I'm meteorologist Zach Wilson with your weekend outlook. Have a good one.